Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove this rear wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and use a 17 millimeter socket. So we're gonna remove the caliper bolts here. We're gonna do that with a 14 millimeter socket. I have a breaker bar on this because these are probably gonna give us some trouble coming out. So I just switched to a panel tool or some kind of flat pliers to push these bolts out. Don't want to ruin the threads. Once you have that bolt free, go ahead and inspect your caliper. Make sure you have no leaks around the piston around that plastic seal. Check your brake pads. Go ahead and set the piston aside. All right, now we're gonna remove our brake rotor. Inside this piece here, you have your emergency brake shoes. You may have to work your brake rotor off of the shoes inside. You may have to also pry a side forward and then just pull straight back. Our brake pad on the back is still here, so we're just gonna go ahead and slide that out of the hardware, out of the rear caliper bracket. And then with a 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and back out these two bolts and remove our caliper bracket. Now that our two bolts are out, we can go ahead and remove our caliper bracket. Over time, it will get a little corroded, so we're going to spray a little anti-seize. We're going to put on our new rotor. Like so. So we're going to reuse our caliper pins. We're also going to put some new grease on them. So we're just going to clean them up. So with our new brake pads, we're going to put in our new hardware. To do that, we just remove the old hardware. Make sure there's no debris or anything loose in there. We're going to set in our new hardware. Once you have it set in place, I'm going to put some brake grease where the pad will sit. And we'll do the same on the other side. Slide our caliper bracket into position. Go ahead and thread our bolts in. And we'll tighten them down with a 14 millimeter socket. Now 
Now that we have our two 14 millimeters snugged up, we can go ahead and torque them. 41 foot pounds. So now we're going to swap to some new brake pads. Before we do that, we have to remove the old brake pads out of the caliper. These you can pop straight out. Now usually your piston will be pushed out a little bit to make up for the room for your pads against the rotor. What we need to do is push that piston back in. We're going to use a C-clamp. When you do this, you want to squeeze this piston in, but before we do that, we're going to open the bleeder screw. We don't want to create pressure and put too much strain on our ABS module. So we'll go ahead and crack our bleeder, eight millimeter wrench. Now what we're going to do is use a clamp. You can use a C-clamp. We have a vice style clamp. I'm just going to push that piston back. Make sure you have some kind of drip protection, rag, something down. You may have some brake fluid come out of the bleeder. All right, now that our piston is set back, we can close up our bleeder screw. Now we can install our new brake pads. We'll start on the outside. Slide it down. Like so. All right, so now for our rear brake pad, we will set this into the hardware that we greased up earlier. Just press it down into place on the bottom, slide it into the rotor, then just rotate the top into the hardware as well and press it in. So now we're going to rotate our caliper in place. Now we'll grease up our caliper pin and slide these into place. With a 14 millimeter socket, tighten these down. And now we can tighten down our bolts to 32 foot pounds. So now we're going to bleed the brakes. We're going to gravity bleed them. So we're going to pump the brakes three or four times. Now we're going to go to the bleeder screw and gravity bleed it. Now we can reinstall our wheel and our 17 millimeter socket. Get the lug nuts started. All right, now that the vehicle's on the ground, we can torque the lug nuts to 98 foot-pounds. We'll do that in a star pattern.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.